Hey guys, Skychi here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the best settings for the blue snowball. Hey guys, Skychi here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the best settings for the blue snowball. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best settings for the blue snowball microphone. A lot of people use this microphone because it's cheap and it's only about fifty dollars. And if you're just starting off and you can't afford them really expensive microphones, just get the Blue Snowball, use this trick, and it'll sound just like those expensive ones. And with all that said guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, and the first thing that I recommend is getting a pop filter. What that is going to do is basically help with hearing your breathing, hearing your breath, and helping your words not pop like you don't want your words to pop like that it gets kind of annoying so definitely get a pop filter and then the second thing you're going to need is audacity this program is what i've always used for all my videos the link for this program will be down in, in the description just download it and then you can just copy all my settings when you're done all right guys once you're in audacity first thing you're going to need to do is go up here and select your blue snowball microphone you can just copy the rest of these settings down. This right here is just when you play it back, what it'll be playing out of, speakers, headphones, whatever. And basically just copy all my settings down, guys. And then when all these are copied down, to record your voice, hit this record button right here, and this thing will start moving. Like right now, you can see I'm talking and it's moving. And then when you're done, you just hit this pause button. Alright guys, now this is the pre-made clip that I already have. I'll play it for you guys right now so you can see what it sounds like without any effects on it. Hey guys, Skechi here and in today's video I'll be showing you the best settings for the blue snowball. Alright guys, now that sounded alright but it didn't sound the best. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you're playing games or something and you're clicking on your keyboard a lot and you don't want people to hear that, start it and then before you talk in this frame right here, in the first like two seconds of when you started it click your keys so it can pick that up and then you can start talking guys and then if you do that your keys should be right here the sound of you clicking your key should be right here you're going to want to highlight that go up here to effects go down to noise reduction and hit get noise profile what's that's going to what that's going to do is get the noise profile of the keys that you just hit so once you do that go back to effects go to noise reduction and hit OK. Alright guys, and once you get that done, what you're going to want to do is come over to your thing, double click it to highlight all of it, and then you're going to want to go up here and go to effects. Now there's all these effects here, but we're only going to be using a couple of them. The first one we're going to use is amplify. And once you click on that, you can copy my settings if you want. It might automatically grab them for you right now. And then just hit OK. And then go back up to effects. And the next one we're going to be doing is compressor. You can copy these down if you want. Pause the video right here, copy them down. These are what I use, what I've always used. And then just hit OK. And then go back up to effects again. And the next one you're going to want to do is equalization. Again, copy my settings down if you want your voice to sound kind of like how mine does. And hit OK. And then go up to effect one last time and then just hit normalize. You can copy these down if you want. Hit OK. Alright guys, and then this is what it will sound like once you're all done. Hey guys, Skechi here and in today's video I'll be showing you the best settings for the blue snowball. Alright, and once that's all done guys, what you're going to want to do is double click on it to select it all if it isn't selected already. Go up to file and hit export audio. And then this thing will pop up here guys. Choose your folder where you want to save it to, pick a name for it, and then just hit save. And then this other screen will pop up right here and just hit OK. And then there it is guys, it renders it all for you and it saves it into your folder that you selected and it's ready to play. Alright guys, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that notification bell so you can see the next time I post and get notified. I post daily. With all that said, guys, peace.